Hi guys, it's Julie. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and I know that I haven't been around for like two weeks now and it's a whole lot of time and I'm sorry for that but I was super super sick. I went away from home on business on a business trip and when I came back I was so extremely sick. I literally couldn't do anything. I couldn't put on makeup because of my psoriasis and I couldn't do work. I couldn't do anything. I just felt like being in bed all day long to be quite frank. So now I'm feeling much better. I still have a little bit of sniffles and my um, throat is a little bit sore yet but I'm fine and I can film this video for you which and I'm so 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 super excited to do this video for you because this is a Sephora VIB haul! Yay! Um, so as most of you probably know and this is Chloe barking because I yelled um, most of you probably know that um, it has been the VIB sale which is 20% off for all VABs in Sephora and I took advantage of it and got a huge 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 order and this is this haul so first of all the lighting sucks because it's like midnight right now but I just came back from a business trip last night and I'm going on another one tomorrow morning and I will not have my camera with me and it was important for me to show you this so without further ado First of all, as you probably know if you're watching other beauty channels, that it, you get this really cute um, bag with them, which I actually pl am planning to get a lot of use of. I'll start with the less interesting things that are um, the samples. So I got a couple of perfume samples for my boyfriend and for myself. Uh, a sample of the Lingerie the Paul by Guerlain foundation. And I can't speak to that, I don't know why, I just can't. And for the first time I got a 500 points perk and this is the Dior Addict one. And I had assembled the entire card like weeks before the VAB sale because I knew that my dad's gonna gift it to me and I wanted to be able to um, have the 20% off. And like the second that it became the 7th of November, which is when the VAB sale started, I was like ready with, with my finger on the click button, uh, on the order button and um, I had everything ready and I shuffled through the perks and usually I don't get perks, like I prefer to save up my points because I just feel that you can get so much more when you have more points and usually the 500 points perks are not that interesting to me but this time they had this perk which is by Dior, this is the Dior Addict and this is this nice box and it has inside a little perfume which is very cute this um, little necklace which I actually don't know what I think about it. it it looks a bit cheap to be quite frank but you know it's nice to have around and this little miniature lipstick which looks really bright and scary but it's actually pretty sheer so I like I really like the perfume and the lipstick so yeah now what I ordered um, there are a few things here that I have been lasting for a long long time and I'll just dive into this the first thing that I had um, in my card and I knew that there is just no way Jose in the world that I'm not gonna order this and this is Laura Mercier artist 2 palette and this is like I didn't buy it because everyone on YouTube and on Google and wherever have been raving about it. I bought it because these are just the perfect, perfect, perfect shades. There are some neutrals and some pink ones and some mauvey ones and some purple ones and you know that I've been loving my purples this year so I knew that I have to have it and now when Urban Decay announced that they're gonna launch the Naked 3 palette which is exactly the same shades I'm like torn because I know that I have to have the Naked 3 palette but like I have this one. The next thing that I knew that I have to have, just have to have, was the Marc Jacobs brushes and I've been hearing so many good things and I am on a constant hunt after the best brushes. Like I have tons of brushes but I only use 
several of them because I like the way they work and they fit into my routine. So I'm always looking for the next best thing that can actually perform better than the ones that I have. So the first brush that I got it comes in this gorgeous packaging and all around Marc Jacobs packaging is the bomb. And the first one I got is this The Face One brush and I am about to use it for my base products, for um, my BB creams, my foundations, my mineral powders, anything like that. This is what I'm gonna be using. I've heard many people saying that this works like the old version of the Sephora Fit number 55 airbrush brush but like on steroids and I'm kind of hoping that this is what it'll turn out to be. So this is the first brush. The second brush, I am on a hunt after a great blush brush, like something that is really small because I don't like those huge, huge brushes because I am very precise with my blush. So I wanted something to be really tiny, I wanted it to be angled and I wanted it to be soft, like super, super soft. And Marc Jacobs had it, like you can see it right here, you can see it compared to my cheek. Um, this is my beloved Bobbi Brown blush brush and you can see how much bigger it is than the Marc Jacobs one. So again, I have not tried any of this so I can't tell you if I like it or not, but judging, judging the packaging, it's amazing. The brushes are heavy, like the handle has a lot of weight and it's very interesting to feel like the balance that you have while you hurt while you're holding the brush. I find it really nice. Next was it's kind of a I don't need this and it was to, but it's totally a splurge. All this is totally a splurge, obviously, but the next item I knew that I don't need, I don't need but, I but I also knew that I would regret if I didn't get it because last time that NARS came out with something like that I told myself I don't need it, I have tons of blushes and I didn't get it and I ended up regretting it for the rest of the year. So this time I got NARS and Guy Boarding or however his name goes blush palette and let me show you. It comes in this type of thing. It has the Orgasm, it has the Laguna, it has a highlighter which is limited edition and some other really nice blushes here. I think it's perfect for traveling like when you travel for a longer period of time and you want your bronzer, your highlighter and several shades of blush that will suit any look that you create to be with you. So this is a splurge, I don't need it, I have tons of blushes but I just had to have it. And of course after saying that I don't need blushes, I got another NARS blush. This is from their limited edition collection, it's called Soul Shine. It looks like this and actually I have been eyeing this for months or weeks, I don't know, how since it, since it came on the Sephora website, I think it was quite long ago. Um, I wasn't planning on buying it because it seemed like something that I wouldn't get along with and then I saw Jaclyn Hill using it and this is the perfect burnt orangey shade for fall. As soon as I saw it, I decided that I had to have it. Next, I ordered some things from some stuff for my brows and you know that I've been using my lingering eye pencil by MAC and I have been looking to step things up a bit. I have been watching a lot of well tailored Taylor from Well Tailored here on YouTube and she has recommended for brunettes to use NARS eyeshadow in Bali and I just decided to take advantage of the sale and get it as well as this little teeny tiny so cute Anastasia Beverly Hills dual sided brush. It has a spool on one side and an angled stiff brush on the other one. This is just very convenient for traveling. Next, I have been here. This is like a total YouTube enabled um, purchase. This is the Dior lip liner in grayish, which is supposed to be the best nude liner in the world. And I haven't even swatched it yet, but it seems as if it has the exact same shade as my lips, which will make it actually the perfect lip liner. I am going to be trying it out on my business trip tomorrow, so I'll report back.
it all obviously came with this little sharpener which is nice to have as well the next thing I got was from Laura Mercier and this is one of her Caverous Caviar Stick shadows. Actually, I decided to go for the shade Amethyst which is kind of uh, purpley, pinky purpley, because I wanted it to go along with the looks that I can create with her Artist palette. So this is why I got this shade. It seemed like a nice pairing. Next is something I've been eyeing for a long, long time and finally I got it and this is the Buxom Lip Cream in White Russian. I have, an, I have been loving um, layering pro lip products. Like anyway, I thought this would be a perfect um, addition to my lip collection. I have just one more thing but it's a very good, 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 good thing. Um, I have been eyeing the Hourglass Ambient Light powders for a long time. And if you have no idea what ambient lighting powder is, it's basically um, a setting powder, finishing powder, not a setting powder, a finishing powder that imitates all kinds of um, lighting. So there are, li there are certain lights that blur out your pores, others that enhance um, your luminosity, others that give a little bit of coverage, and so on and so forth and Hourglass made a, a variety of those shades. Um, I really wanted to try them out. They were very expensive and I wanted to try several because I had no idea which one would look best on me and lucky for me they came out with this amazing gorgeous gorgeous palette for the holidays and it contains three powders. It has one that... Um, oh, I don't know what shades they are. I wonder if it's written here somewhere. I don't know. I have no idea if it's written, but I'm sure you can find it on Google. It has this shade, which I think would be great for all over my face. This is a highlighter, which you also can use under your eye area because it doesn't reflect back. And this uh, little baby, which is a little bit darker, and you can use it on certain spots, like if you want to enhance your contour, for example. So this is a cool palette and it actually came with a little mini baby primer, their Veil Mineral Primer, which I have been wanting to try out. So this is everything I got guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm super excited about everything here and I cannot wait to start using it. I will report back. I would love, love, love if you could leave me in the comments below which of these products you would like to see reviewed first so I'll know which one to test out first, sooner. Um, I love you a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm so sorry I haven't been here for the past couple of weeks but my next video is going to be a really good one. It's gonna be my day-to-day -day makeup storage and collection. I hope you'll come back to this channel to watch it. Till next time, bye-bye!